Hello everyone, and thank you for joining our session on Mobile 23 Things. I am currently traveling to Auckland, New Zealand to participate in the Lianza Conference, so I've recorded some remarks about the preliminary results of our research on the original Mobile 23 Things program. All right, very quickly, I'd like to take you through some of the research results from uh, the study of the Mobile 23 Things original program. I want to go back real quick, though, and point out that the Horizon report did say that mobile apps and tablet computing would impact teaching and learning. Uh, and this was the 2013 report, so they're saying that this is something that's happening now. So I think it's very good that we're looking at this program and the program is being replicated. This is a study from uh, Insights Now looking at how people use their cell phones and their mobile devices. And what I really appreciate about this is the descriptors used to describe the various activities that folks uh, perform when they're using them. And maybe some of you have done this yourself. The number one thing people do is me time, and that's seeking relaxation or entertainment. Other things include accomplishing things, uh, shopping, preparation, socializing, uh, discovery, and self-expression. Now what I would say is there should be a layer around all of these things of the potential for learning to occur as well. So Learning 2.0, originally developed in 2006, has evolved over time into various, including various technologies as well as various topics. It was very positive because it offered inclusive learning for all staff and it has become a global phenomenon. I was very lucky to study Learning 2.0 programs in libraries in Australia in 2009, and we found some uh, really interesting things. We found that after participating in a Learning 2.0 or 23 Things program, even if you didn't finish, library staff reported a high degree of confidence, comfort, and a willingness to explore emerging technologies because of the program. So let's see what uh, the Mobile 23 Things pilot program looks like. Here's uh, the pre-survey, we got to, pre and post survey, we got to ask uh, before the program started how familiar the library staff was with the various tools such as RSS, Feedly, and Flipboard. And you'll see uh, pretty typical results for before and then the right hand column is after. Here's Twitter, Instagram, and Dropbox, three of my favorite mobile apps. And uh, I think this is, this is very indicative of, of how the program uh, can help people become more familiar with what's possible. And the one I want to highlight is Dropbox on the bottom. You notice in the before, 73% said not familiar with Dropbox. And then after it flipped, 73% said, yes, I am familiar. And I think this has practical application if your staff, if the library staff is knowledgeable about Dropbox and they're helping people with technology, they're on the floor, maybe saving a large file for a library user might be a good way to go. Uh, so understanding how you can access Dropbox on a phone or on a desktop machine uh, could be very useful. So before the, in the pre-survey, before the program, we had a, uh, a series of statements that we asked the staff to rate from uh, tell us how you uh, approach mobile apps and technologies from I have a limited understanding to I understand only parts etc so uh, you'll note that four percent up there at the top had a high understanding while most of the staff about a little over half uh, had that limited or understanding only parts so here's the after we dropped off two of those categories completely, those first two, and we went to 58% saying I have a fair understanding, 24% saying I have a high understanding and can teach and train others, and that I believe uh, should be one of the goals of running a Mobile 23 Things program. And finally, 18% said I understand only parts, but sometimes I need help. Here it is uh, in, in bar format, so you can see the before and after. We completely got rid of those first two categories in the, the after survey, and uh, that, that nice one there, I have a fair understanding and can chat about mobile apps, jumped up uh, from 21% to 58%. The other thing we're looking at is the technology acceptance model from Davis about how folks incorporate technologies into their uh, work lives 
and their perceptions of usefulness of those technologies. We asked people in the post survey to rate a series of statements. Applications on a tablet device are easy to use, are useful for various tasks, and are understandable. And uh, all three of these came out 90% of the 40 or so folks who took uh, that, that uh, post survey. This, this gets a little more interesting. I would like to use applications on a tablet in my work at the library. 85% of the respondents said yes. They were agree or strongly agree. And 80% said applications on a tablet device will enhance our library services. And that's where it dropped just a little bit. And I think that's uh, just looking back at learning 2.0 as well. We've seen that making sure that there's a strong connection to what is done with the new technologies to enhance library service should be very clear because I think that helps uh, the program be successful. So we asked people what really worked for you uh, in the Mobile 23, 23 Things program. This person, this is just one of the qualitative responses, this person says it was fine to be many together to gain more knowledge at the same time. These are translated uh, into English. So that what that person is saying is um, it was very good to be everyone together learning the same thing and I, I discovered that in the Learning 2.0 research as well. And it's even better uh, that they can help the patrons and that is the best part at all, that they can help patrons with uh, mobile technologies. Here is uh, one of the qualitative answers for what didn't work well. And this person said it was hard to fit into the daily amount of work. I did my assignments at home and I have done them myself because there was no one to learn with. So as we, we look at ways that we might improve the program, one of the things that I think will come out of this is to make sure that people feel supported and feel that they have someone that they can talk to. So in taking a step back and just looking at these preliminary results, and I'm really happy to get to talk about them today with you all, uh, I think program success for Mobile 23 Things will depend on the amount of support learners are given plus the time that they are given, and it should be time that is uh, mandated uh, by uh, administration of the library or uh, whatever institution uh, and the perceived usefulness of the mobile applications and that's applying them to jobs as well as applying them to library services. So thank you very much for your time and I'm glad to get to tell you about this research.